What's going on everybody, Nando Siriani here. I wanna welcome you back to my YouTube channel. In today's vlog, I'm gonna be taking you guys to the mall with me and putting together three different styles from streetwear to casual and to formal. Now that lockdown's over, I feel like we gotta have something to look forward to and actually, you know, put together a cool outfit and go out for a nice dinner or some sort of event. So guys, let's be positive. I hope this video inspires you guys to go out and get a cool outfit. So stay tuned, I hope you guys enjoy these looks. <music> love for somebody to explain to us how we're supposed to do this by ourselves so it was my day today for her to come film me but of course you know she's excited covid's over and she wants to shop as much as i do i don't know whose vlog this is now i don't know whose youtube video this is i'm confused guys can you can you please help me because i'm so confused that i don't understand what's happening in this video i i was under the assumption that when i came to zara today it was my turn to do a youtube video <laughs> And now it's her turn. She's doing her own YouTube video. I don't even feel like it's my video anymore. But anyways, guys, we're gonna get this stuff into the car and then I can't wait to show you guys what we're putting together when I get home. I unloaded all the Zara bags and I had to get the help of actually everyone in my family to help me because Celeste over here actually had her own bags and I think she's actually maybe start her own channel and do a, a Zara haul also. But anyways, can't wait to show you guys what these looks look like. I was a little bit hesitant with the jacket and these pants together but I feel like the navy actually picks up a little bit of the blue in the pant here. As you can see, the blue with the navy, it just gets away from going with an all navy suit, 
right? If you want to kind of change it up a little bit and be a little bit different from everyone else, instead of just going kind of monochrome, all navy, you can change it up with a checkered pant. The only thing is, you're going to start laughing. These pants are absolutely huge. But, so there are 31. I usually wear a 29 or 30. But I thought this outfit was so nice, I wanted to just show it to you guys, even though that the pants are big. Um, how they should look, if they were my size, they would be a little bit higher, how I have it on this right leg, so that you can see the ankle just a little bit. Now, the white shoes go perfectly with this, because it's just so sleek, and they're not too loud, and it just lets the outfit speak for itself, that they are, are all white. Also, the jacket, typically I do wear a 38 but all they had was 40. And again, I just really want to show you guys how this outfit looked. The white shirt, I'm actually very impressed with it. The material is actually amazing. It's very dressy. And this is a dress shirt that you can definitely wear to a wedding or some sort of formal event. What I really love about this outfit is that it is very versatile and you can actually wear it in every season. And I'm gonna show you how you can wear it in every season just by adding a little bit of a piece that you guys saw me grab from Zara. I'm gonna show you guys right now. All right, so I just made this more of a winter outfit by just adding the long gray coat to it. And I honestly love how the gray just goes with the white and the navy, guys. You gotta remember your grays can go with your blues and your dark navies, 100% they match. is a small. Um, I could have went with a 36, but I knew that I was gonna be layering it, so I got a size above. And I'm actually just laughing at myself because these pants are so funny and it makes the outfit look like complete shit because they're so big on me. But I'm telling you, if these were my size, this outfit would be amazing. Um, and I could have even went a size down in the jacket also, but I love this outfit. It's very formal and you can go to any sort of event, whether it's in the spring, summer, fall, winter, just by adding this coat to it, it makes it so versatile. And I can't wait to show you guys the next look. So why can't I do it? I call this the casual streetwear look. Now we got the tight skinny jeans rolled up at the bottom. I'm actually gonna show you, as you guys saw earlier in the video, that I was having some difficulties, but I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I do roll my jeans up like that. Now this is the denim, the light denim wash jean that just goes really well with this off-white crew neck and the brown bomber jacket. Now the, light, the off white and the brown bomber jacket just go together because they're in the same category of colors. Now, I just love that the blue jeans just really stand out with the white shoes also. I'm wearing a size 30 in these jeans, a size large in the off white crew neck. Now I wanted this crew neck to be a little bit oversized, not too tight. If I wanted it to be a little bit tighter, if I was going for a different look, I would have got a little bit tighter and got a medium. And likewise goes with the jacket, I would have got a medium instead of a large. Now if you want your jean to look more sleek and tight like this and get rid of that loose baggy look, I'm gonna show you what I did to achieve this. Now you're gonna take the jean, you're gonna roll it up just a little bit where you can see your skin and you have some distance between the shoe and the bottom of the jean. You're gonna take the material of the jean from the outside, you're gonna turn it inwards like this, and you're gonna grab the material and you're gonna turn right back like that. And then you're gonna go up one more time and you're gonna do it two times to achieve that tighter, sleek look. I mean, I did this side a lot better than this side, but that's okay. Once it, it takes some practice to get, but it, I just feel like it looks a lot better with a pair of jeans. It makes your legs look a lot better in your shoes, especially with a white sneaker. The third look here is a complete shoewear look. Now, I got away from that casual look and I went for more of a cargo pant here. Now, I want to show you guys one thing before I get into the full outfit. Now, first of all, the material 
of these pants are absolutely amazing. I'm in love with them. They're so stretchy, very comfortable. But one thing I want to really point out to you guys was this part of the ankle. You can make this look a little bit looser if you wanted to. If you're wearing like an oversized chunky sneaker, that would look really cool if you have it a little bit more baggy. Now for my look, in my case, I'm wearing the army boot. So I'm gonna end up using the tighter part of the, the pant. Now that just makes the, the look look a lot more tighter and more connected into the boot. favorite outfit I think I've ever put together in a YouTube video. I don't know why, I don't know if you guys agree or not, but I just feel like it's so versatile. There's so much going on. There's so many layers. All the colors are matching. You got the black plaid shirt with the black jacket, the black boots, and then you got the white that just stands out and looks amazing with a different, different color contrast of green. Guys, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this outfit. This is a total 10 for me. Like Celeste, you're not, you're not attacking me right now? <laughs> <laughs> You're not? No? I'm attacking you. Okay. Nah, I'm just joking. <laughs> nah, that was serious and stuff. All right, I just want to talk a little bit about the sizing of all of these. Now, I'm wearing a size small in the cargos. I usually typically always buy a small. Even if there's extra small, I sometimes buy extra small because my waist is just a little bit smaller. Um, but yeah, pants are small. We got the plaid shirt, which is a large. Again, I was going for more of that oversized fit because I knew what I had to layer it with the green sweater, which is also a large. So again, that oversized fit, you wanna go a size above. Now this jacket, the puffer, the medium looked a little bit too big. So I went with the small. I guess the sizes are a little bit different in Zara with the upper body stuff. But yeah, the jacket is a small and it fits perfect and it has that oversized fit, which is exactly what we're going for. And I love these army boots because, so let me just get a shot of these. I love these army boots because they're so versatile. If you guys have been following me for a bit, I do love the army boots from Zara because they do have the zipper. It just gives it that cool, sleek streetwear look with the zipper in the middle. I mean, you could get a boot that doesn't have the zipper on the inside, but I feel like this just totally changes the game with the streetwear look. Now, I do want to mention now when I do look for that outerwear piece, such, a, such as a jacket, I do try and buy a different material or different texture or different pattern of the top piece because it just gives it more of a dynamic look on the outfit and it makes that piece stand out just a little bit more. Now, just to explain to you a little bit, now that you see the plaid shirt has a pattern and then you have the leather jacket that has more of that texture but that kind of like that sheen to it so it really pops in the outfit and just gives it a whole different look. Thank you guys so much for watching that video. I hope you guys found it helpful and I inspired you guys to go out and put a cool outfit together because we're finally out of lockdown and we get to finally go out. But guys, if you have any questions, please leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll do my best to cover anything you guys have about those outfits. But guys, do me a favor. If you like this video, smash that like button for me as it helps out my channel and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and turn on those post notifications guys because I'm posting new content regarding men's fitness, men's fashion, and lifestyle every single week and i want you guys to be a part of it and i don't want you guys to miss it but guys until then i'll see you guys next time Bye.